Weezing Primarina. This is Wolf's team, right? This is Wolf's rank one team. Um, we can have a pretty good matchup here with Tox. See, the, the issue here is though, like I don't really have like a good way of dealing with Spore other than like Zard. And I don't, do you guys know the item on the um, Wolf's Amoongus? Was it Sash or Koba Berry? Wolf didn't have Prim. Oh, okay. All right, you're right. It's similar to Wolf's team. But what, what item did Wolf run on his Amoongus? I think we're going to lead to Dene Zard. I think that's actually like super nice here. Because uh, we can always switch away from the Jolteon. Yeah, he didn't have Drake. This one has that instead of Dracovish. I think it was Koba. All right. I think Como is still nice. I'll try the Como. Did Lucario always follow me? It did. Wolf didn't have a Moongus. That means this team's better. Moongus is pretty good. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yo, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. All right, let's see it. The Dene could be really good here. Could be. Right now, he has that Weezing to potentially turn off abilities, but I don't think that really matters. I'd rather he have Pharaoh, right? I mean, you're trying to use, like, Zard and shit. I just think Zard is the best G-Max right now. I think that, like, every team should have it. They banned a lot of the good Mons, but, like, all those Mons, Zard still, like, hung with them. We're not going to participate in the Player's Cup. We don't play in the Player's Cup. Alright, that's fine. Alright, let's see. Go to Dene in the house. Neutralizing gas. Alright, so let's see how I want to actually play this. I just don't know the item choice on that Jolteon. I'm actually gonna play this weird. You guys can hate me all you want, but I still think this is the right play. Um, what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be max guarding our Zard this first turn and going for a chip with a D-Gleam. Uh, what that will do is it will like punish a decent amount of those. I don't think he's going to be able to kill my Dedenne with a Sludge Bomb. If he does want to go after that, I think it's okay. He has to, he'd have to be, like, really offensive to be able to do, like... He'd have to be going for a double target into the Dedenne slot, right? And I don't think that that's normal. I think a lot more... I also think I want to get more experience, like, playing a defensive turn one with the Maximon. I feel like a lot of people press a lot of buttons earlier with their Maximons. Like, right now, like, I'm pretending to my Max Zard. If you would have, like, switched out Weezing for Politoed and went for a Thunder on my Zard, I'd be really sad, right? Um, so we, we don't want to do that, right? We just want to stay in. Yeah, most, that's why we have that team there. There's the Rising Voltage, okay? Block, we take those. And, uh, let's see what the Weezing's doing after this. So it's a faster Jolteon than normal. Well, not normal, it's, it's definitely fast. So, we're gonna do good damage to Jolteon there. Break potential Sashes, Sludge Bomb into the Dene, but, like, oh, he's, he nuked his Zard. You see what I mean? That defensive, um, play there. We also get to scout the Weezing item, which is super important. Uh, I do think there is a high chance that you switch out and go for the uh, Politoed here. But like at this point, he's already taken such significant damage on the Jolteon, where if he were to max it, we're in a really good spot. And so now that we've shown that our Zard is relatively pinned, he feels like he's in a really good spot here. A lot of people don't know that the Denai actually gets Ally Switch. So we're actually just free to go for this play, I feel. Because I feel that would still KO if he wanted to switch in the Toad. All right, he's not switching though, right? He's not switching, which means I still think this KOs. Dedenne is a cool Pokemon. It is a cool Pokemon. I like it a lot. But, like, maxing a Mon that's not at full, you get such diminishing returns there. So, like, I feel that patient play is going really well for me right now. And also, like I said, a lot of people don't know that Dedenne actually gets Ally Switch. So, you can totally go for, like, your Max Lightning there. Yep. Can you use Entrainment to Protect? I, I think you can. I think you can. We're going to eat that damage. We're going to soak that right up. Thank you for the Electro Train, by the way. I really do appreciate that. And take some orb damage. So he is going to probably go down. So we're playing this super aggressive lead, like, very, very patiently. Uh, we use Max Guard next turn, and he's gone. Sludge Bomb into the Dene slot, please. That works for me. That totally works for me. Zard got out of there scot free yep so next turn he's gone so all i have to do is send out a pokemon with like protect 
think about this. I'm gonna max guard my Zard. This gets protect. I think that Tox is probably the better play here. Especially we we have Coma we can switch in next turn to block like uh like a hyper voice or something. So Tox is great. Max guard. And protect. And we also have the overdrive like ready to go. I wouldn't be surprised to see a Shadow Ball into the Toxicity slot, but like we don't want to just eat that damage. Yeah, we're just in a great spot here. I need to change my trainer outfit too. I haven't looked at any of the trainer outfits in Sword and Shield, or in Isle of Armor. Is Nisa with Colossal Risen? Should Ideal Tackle Majority? Yeah, no, I think that that's probably the best thing. Is he just switching or did he run? Okay, smart. Move is switching. Okay, I can see it. I see it. Just keeping that Jolten alive, smart. Okay, let's think about what we want to do here. I wonder if it's actually a good idea to go for like a blast burn into that Moonga slot. Because I don't know if I can actually. It's kind of hard to say. Like, I have no idea if I can actually KO with a... Uh... I think I'm going to go for a Sludge Bomb here. As weird as that sounds. Instead of the Overdrive. Because I think he's going to switch out the Weezing for the Jolteon. Or I could also just do it like this. I think I'm just going to switch my Zard out. For Como. Yeah. And go for... <sighs> if he keeps that Weezing in though. Because the soundproof will be turned off. Blast burn's fine there. I don't care about that wheezing. Don't care about it. Protect Amoongus? It's completely fine. I don't need to care about that wheezing. He's staying in though, so good thing I did that play. He's the one that's taken from my, uh... What is it? Durant Volcorn. That's a good lead. Durant's still really good right now. Sludge Bomb, you can kill totally Sludge Bomb Zara, I don't really care. I'd actually like it if you did. Like, please poison me. Damn it. I want I want to be made so I can't get put to sleep. So I don't I don't have to respect your Amoongus. And now that we've shown an affinity for Blast Burn, we're not gonna use Blast Burn. We're gonna use Hurricane at this turn. No, we're not. Uh, we're just gonna go protect. And go with a boom burst. He can't put anything to sleep. He can't really get away with anything here. And the fact that we still have Tox at like full is still really nice. What's your favorite type? Uh, I like bug types. Show me that Jolteon, please. Show it. Grim, that's fine. Yeah, I gotta get this Weezing off the board relatively soon. Yep. Big burst. It's a lot of damage. So Weezing is probably within range for a second Boom Burst, if we wanted to do that. I think it's within in range for a Sludge Bomb, too. I wonder if Blast Burn just Oko's that Prim. What do you guys think? Do you guys think Blast Burn just Oko's Prim Arena here? I'm fine double targeting that slot. Is Overdrive stronger with Rain? It is, but there is a Jolteon in the back, right? And so I don't ever want him to switch out that Weezing for Jolteon. Because that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to switch out Weezing for Jolteon to get a Volt Absorb proc. All these pre-murdering Assault Vests? Oh, what Assault Vest! Double Protect, that's fine. He's Now he's really pinned. I think that they normally run Assault Vest, though. Especially on this type of team, self is really nice. Uh, we, I'm trying to cover his ability because, like, I think that that's actually a Parish Song for Marina. It's weird, right? All right so Train is now gone. Uh, I don't need to fodder the Zard. I actually think I need to wait with like a Hurricane into the Weezing slot. I feel like I can actually really do it. Like, I feel there's so many different things I could do here. Do you guys think? That like, do you guys think that Sludge Bomb KOs that Prim? I think it does. 
Double? He gets the double? Yo, give this man an award right now. I hit Hurricane though. I take it. I'll take it. Now that Weezing's gone, um, I'm in a really good spot. Because now I can just go for Boom Burst. Switch in my other bro. Let's see if you get that third one. I think I got the double protect. It's pretty pog. Jolteon. Yep, boom burst time. I think we boom burst here. You could totally go for like a Shadow Ball on my Tox and try like Hydro Cannon it or Hyper Voice it, but then like we have Como in the back for a reason. He might protect with Jolteon for one turn and go for like a big water attack into the Tox and the next turn try and finish it off. Oh, the double switch in the Amoongus. That's why we didn't go for a Sludge Bomb. Which Tox ones are better? I don't think there's a big difference. I think they're like the same. This is just the one that's in my game. Yep, there's Protect. Nice Protect. All right, we're gonna be in a good spot here. I just gotta respect the Amoongus play, I think, for the remainder of the game. So Boom Burst is a really good play on the switch in here. Because we just don't want to get put to sleep. Yellow one gets shipped here, yeah. But this one is the one that I can catch. Yeah, I don't know if I can actually take that thing out. If he wants to take out the Zard, I'll let him have it. I think letting my Toxie get put to sleep here is a net loss. So, like, he can totally Thunderbolt and Spore, but I'll get a better board position off of it. Yep. He's gonna take out from Life Orb, so it's, like, actually free. Yep, totally fine. Totally fine. Like, I can't let him just take out. And I don't think a single target Boom Burst would have KO'd there. I don't think a Sludge Bomb would have KO'd, and he can't switch the Amoongus out anymore. Yep. And so that Primarina has to have Moon Blast to actually get in here. And even if he wants to go Perish Song, it won't work. He has to have Moon Blast. The big MB. I think Overdrive might do it. That's fine. I'll just Splash Cannon. Splash Cannon that one and Overdrive, I think. No, no. We, we can't. We can ignore the Primarina. We can just Clang Scales. And Boom Burst, I would say. My Sludge Bomb might even be better into the Amoon than Boom Burst. Yeah, I'm going to nuke it. Like what's, he has to have exactly Moon Blast. I guess you gotta have Dazzling Gleam, but like you don't really, they don't use them. Like Como's massive here. Protect? Oh yeah, value. Why would I hit that thing? Like I care. Cling, cling! No pinch berry, please. I'll be so sad. Oh, it is! All right, we lose, probably. You know what? I played a, I played a good game. <laughs> I mean, we're going to hit it one more time. He'll be uh, killable by Clang next turn. I might even be able to get away with, like, a Flash Cannon in the Prim next turn. I, th I think he's going to live this, though. Spore into... Yeah, we'll see it. I wonder if I can KO with, like... A flash cannon to that prim because I'm at plus one now. Um, I'll try it. The pinch berry Amoongus coming in from downtown. Rage fighter. Cool. I'll take out your Amoongus. Amoongus down. Boom. Deleted. Show me that Parish song and I'll laugh at you. Show me that Parish song so I can laugh. Moon Blast. He actually had the Moon Blast. Alright. He had the Moon Blast. On the Prim that normally carries Hyper or, or Liquid Voice thing. I guess you still see Moon Blast. You do. You just do some Moon Blast. Um, we're going to wake up eventually though. Right? Two turns sleep. Hydro, he's going for it. 
He's going for it. Can we get not one-shotted here? Oh my god. You have Aqua Jet. All right, we got the three turns sleep. If you come back from this, you're the legend. 80 stronger use this. Now let's see. Oh, we got the three turn sleep. Yo, congrats to him. He won. I threw. I threw the game. I think. No, I don't know if I threw the game. It's hard to say exactly. I didn't think he'd have exactly all that stuff. Shoutouts to him. We lose. Yeah, I thought I could have swore I had that one wrapped up. But. I didn't expect him to have, like, exactly all those things and get the three turns sleep, you know? I figured, like, if we get one guy put to sleep... Yeah, never lucky is definitely correct. Double. Okay. Raichu is awkward for Zard to fight. Duraludon's weird, too. Still think I want to go Como here, though. I think, like, Como Amoongus is really nice here. Yeah, that's weird. I'm feeling like Tox Dust Slops. I'll try Tox Clops. There's so many flying types over there. Yo, thank you for the sub with Twitch Prime. I really do appreciate that. Guys, put some subs up. Subs up. Let's go. Let's go. Bam. Thank you. Um, yeah, we got those two. Um, I don't know if I'm going to max the Clops this game, but I might. The problem is, like, the uh, Raichu over there can redirect all my electric attacks. So that is very problematic. So I have to, like, be very wary when I want to throw them out. Probably just be going for, like, max strikes a lot this game. Uh, Como is still really nice. I think I'm going to bring the Dedenne just to give myself a boost after I set my Trick Room. And then I'm looking at the last Mon. And I'm like looking at the Moongus, but I think that Como is going to be just a little bit more value. Let's see it. Might work. There we go. Perfect. What do you guys think he's going to leave with? Talonflame, very, very, yo. Got myself thinking, I wish you could be as good as Battle King yourself. Yo, anyone can be as good. I'm terrible. Anyone can be as good as me. Charcoal, Lumberry. Yo, Lumberry. Nice. Yeah, Trick Room. I want to see if he go. I want to see if he switches on the Raichu this turn. Because we can just take the Raichu out, and then we just overdrive into Oblivion. Look at that board. All right, which are on the Braviary for Raichu? Are you actually taunting my Duskops? You'd be so nice if you taunted my Duskops. Because I still think we're in a good spot if you taunt my Duskops. I still think we're in an okay spot. Taunt, there's a taunt my Duskops. It's fine. Um, I guess we just do the exact same thing still, though. Like, I still think... Like, Nightshade's okay. I don't really need the... I'll go for the Bulldoze, because all we really need to do is break Sash. And then... I'll just go for a Boom Burst here. Boom Burst won't KO the Raichu, though, unless I max. I don't even think I can KO that Raichu. Like, I can go for... Max Strike's a 140. This is Stab, so it's like... 45. This is 135 versus 140. I'll go for the 135. Can't go for the Stun Shock this turn. I don't know if I can KO this Raichu. Let's see. I'll take a Special Attack boost though. Yeah, Tox is super nice versus Ford. I kind of wish I fit an Intimidator on this team, because it would be just, like, super good right there. I could switch out the Amoongus for Intimidator to hit the Town Flame. He has, like, nothing to hit this Toxic City, like, at all. He might try an Encore or Fake Out. Heat Wave's fine. Swagger Jam, you just so Pog. I like that team. Ah, oh, never lucky with the Burn. Actually, super lucky with the Burn. What does that even do? Special Attack drop? Special D drop me? Special attack, harsh with Well, that sucks. I'm gonna be a plus one after all this. It's actually a lot of damage. Sucks it's gonna cost me my max turns to deal with that thing, though. That right you can slow down. I just gotta get one turn where I can go for the max. We're gonna hit the town from in the last turn, probably. This really sucks you got that burn with that heat wave. Let's just switch into it on that, it's fine. Heat wave's fine. Ow. 
off. Stop it. Oh my god, double heat wave burn? Yo, let me fucking play the game. I've actually been super unlucky today, if you actually look at the games. I've been like really, really unlucky in all of our games today. Right, I'm at plus two. No, I'm at neutral. Great. And the double burn. Who just gets double burns off heat waves? Have you ever seen that? Sure, got the taunt. So he's gonna taunt my cops. Uh, let's see what we want to do though. The Raichu's gone, right? So I can go for a lot of different things. He has to check our tox right now, but whatever he sends out can be max. It's just we have a good matchup for Talonflame and the Braviary, so it has to be whatever. Braviary is either packing something weird, or it's his last mom that has something else. And usually in that situation, you'd think the last mom would be like a support mom. The fact that he's thinking means like it might. If he wants to send a Bravery right here, we'll see. I'll switch my cops out, uh, and taunt something that sucks, and go for a stun shock, probably winning me the game, depending on what we roll. Because we're still at neutral. Arcanine, Ar Arcanine Max might be able to get something done here. But like, would you want to max an Arcanine? Aren't you a minus four special attack? I have a weakness policy proc and two max sludge procs, so I'm actually at neutral. See? Neutral. So we're switching out this cops. Um, don't want him to brave bird. I don't think he's mixed, but like, I think it's better to save the Dedenne in the back. I'll switch the Como in here and go for. I think it's better to stun shock that Arcanine. As weird as it looks, I think it's a little bit greedy to stun shock the Arcanine. But like, I'm gonna do it. But like, we're behind, so I kind of have to. Go for it. Yep. Snarl, no, go for it. Here we take those soundproof. Ayo. This guy's gotten a total of like five special attack drops, and I'm still only at minus one. <laughs> and we'll be taking those. And now Town Flames, if Town Flames paralyzed, that's really nice. Um, let's see if it's poison. Can't really sell. I want that poison. Ah, that works. Para on the town from awesome, that's really really good. And poison is actually really oh, double para. Why oh, did it have the little poison bubbles? Oh, whatever, I'll take a double para. That does indeed work for me. We should be able to kill that town flame with a clang soul, like a, a scales, I mean. And then we're gonna go for a boom burst. So, boom burst scales should be able to get a double KO here. E speed, hey, go for it. My KO. Are we thick though? We thick like that. Oh my gosh, so much. Uh, we, uh, let's see if he actually hits the Como. Ah, uh, it's a damage berry, or a pinch berry, sorry. Well, let's see if I can actually save him. Boom Burst is still really strong. And he still has that Brave Berry back there. I do have to watch out, he hasn't maxed yet. He does get a Tailwind up, he's faster than my Tox. Oh, that's so frustrating. That's so frustrating. Uh, we should be able to get a KO on at least the Town Flame. I'd love it if we can still KO the Arcanine. Damn, that is actually really bad. Because he has that Brave right back there. And I can't protect here. And we have to actually hope that he gets full para next turn. Do it just like this. He's going to max it, but like... It's our best shot. I think I should have went for Overdrive, actually. Overdrive might have been a little bit stronger against the Arcanine. Yeah, I think Overdrive might have been a little bit stronger. No, it's not. So I'm not using Punk Rock. I'm using Plus, right? So, like, if it's not super effective, uh, it's stronger than Boom Burst. And my, I'm at minus one special attack. And if his Arcanine gets full pair this turn, we have a decent, ide a decent play here. I say decent. He's going to have to Airstream the Como, but, like, I can't just fodder that Como right now. E speed, alright, so we didn't get it. We didn't get it. Damn! Boom versus strong with Punk Rock? It is, yeah. Airstream, yep. Uh, we almost won this one. Can we win any games? Holy crap, have we even won a game today? Have we won any games today? I don't know, man. What do we even want to do here? 
I think we have to ally switch TR. I should have switched out Chroma that turn. I forgot I had the Dust Cops, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, I forgot I had this Pokemon still. Quick, we need a Trick Room. If I can wait out the... If I can wait out the... Whatever... Braviary Max Mode, like a Crit Thunderbolt can actually take it out. Argan's Paralyzed, I'll take that. Rock Ball. He's gonna kill his own Arcanine. Don't kill me. That's right, we thick. We thick right now. It's gonna break my sash though, that sucks. How fast is it, eh? It's faster than Braviary, but Braviary has a plus one speed boost right now. So Braviary is faster. So right now we're faster than he is. But I can't hit him with that Dusclops. I like, can't hit him. Please just go away. Oh my gosh, next turn. It's one turn max, so like we have to go. There's a couple things can happen here. Like I could dazzle and gleam, even though I think he's gonna e speed. I, I think you actually have to just thunderbolt this braviary. And oh, I can just yeah, I can thunderbolt the braviary and just nightshade here. If he has e speed, he has e speed, you know. Pain spell would be clutch. I agree. How's your day? It's going all right. Yo, thank you for the sub. I do appreciate that a lot. I really do appreciate that sub. Yeah, that's I'm just gonna right. this Arcanine. That's right. I appreciate you all. E speed, never lucky. Oh, don't kill me. Alright, cool, I'm sick. Alright, Arcanine's gonna go down. And it all depends on who he's actually targeting. I think he is targeting the Dust Pops for some like some weird weird reason. Alright, this is last turn max. Right? Who you hitting? Rock ball? Where you looking, Chief? Yes! I think we win! Using the best Pika clone. Cause like... I, I, I don't know, we'll, we'll see how many turns left on that Trick Room. Cause even he has Protect. I, I think that like we got him. Tailwind Peter's out. But, oh shit, the Tailwind! Oh, I should've bulldozed that turn! No, he has an Airstream. No, I'm, I'm right. We still win. We still win. No, I forgot. I forgot. He had Airstream. He's just fast. Like... Yeah, he has that Airstream. Three turns Trick Room. I should underspeed him here. Go away. Go away. No! What? He's a plus one and doesn't outspeed me? Oh, if we live, what is this game? I guess we I guess we got it. I'll, I'll take it. Don't even act like I don't take it. The Dene. Give it to me. I'll take it. Defeated. Wasted. Give me the win. Freaking finally. Oh man, we're gonna get to N. If this guy doesn't have a Zorark, this guy doesn't even have a Zorark. Okay, let's see what we want to do here. I don't know how I win this matchup. Straight up. I have no idea. I can put the Colossal to sleep. Can't redirect a Vrizian. How's Como look here? Como doesn't look terrible. I think Toxicity is usable too. My Tox is good. The Dene. Yeah, the Dene's not that good. It's only good for Ally Switch, you know? Like, if I were to go Amoongus Tox, he has to really pick his poisons here. I think the Dene is still actually good. I got a couple ideas. I'm crazy to bring Como here. I don't actually have a way to hit that Ferrothorn, so I have to bring Zard. That sucks. Yeah, this is like an un this is like an unwinnable matchup, I think. Yep. This is a team that throws everything in the kitchen sink at you. So like, we win. That's awesome. But like, they have to mess up. They have to mess up. Why do they have Brazilian Barrel? Because they hate me. <laughs> Alright, so there's Aqua Jet potential. Um, I just don't know if it's like safety goggles, Prim. 
Like, we did weed the correct weed, by the way. Just, just throwing that out there, we did weed correctly. So that's good for me. Starting, or we just slapping pressure. You're under pressure, pushing down on me. The Dene, yes, the Dene is awesome. I have a test. See what type of person you are. Yo, go for it. I'm ready. Dene is actually really cool on this team. Go Max Cold. I want to see if he Max Guards. If I yeeted someone off the cliff. Sorry, if I yeeted someone. You're really going to ask this question when I'm in the middle of a game? <laughs> um, let's see. Can I answer that? Does it, does it say a lot about me saying I want to answer that question when I'm done with the game? Because it's like a freaking wall of text. I think it does. Yo, I'm gonna get a really good stun shock here. Just eat it. Give me a poison. Or like a para. Or like anything. Just give me a poison. Para on that one. That's actually good. And. Yes! Super nice. But you invoke with all you want, Chief. It's weak. You are weak. Let's rage powder next turn. That was the best combo I could have gotten, yep. I mean, I could have gotten the full para into it. Ugh, never lucky. The thing is, like, a lot of my mons don't actually do good damage against Cole. I have Zard, right? <laughs> In the back, oof. And... I, I, did I, I think I brought Dedenne too, yeah. I might switch out Dedenne for Dedenne next turn. For Rizian. okay, this is actually kind of nice. What's he do against Tox? Like, yeah, I could switch the Dedenne in. And go for Goose. So we're gonna power ourselves up right here, get a regenerator proc. Pretty pog. Yeah, Cole's gonna die when D-Max goes away. But the thing is, like, I can't kill with a Zard, you know? Can't kill with an Amoongus. Still a hard sell. Air Slash, go for it, Chief. Special Brizzy. The Orb. That's actually really cool. Yeah, use Orb. See? You, you like how I know that? Just from, like, seeing what his tech is? This, is gonna, I give, this gives a plus one special attack to both my moms, by the way. So right now I have plus and minus on the board. So they're both really, really strong right now. Like this Thunderbolt will probably be able to KO the Prim. And I have a plus one special attack on top of it. So it's, they're at plus two right now. Yo, I love that. Where's your weakness policy, Chief? They'll get to jet. He's paralyzed. So he's still slower than the Dene is. And he's made it so I can solar beam things now. With my Zard. It the solar power? Oh, no. Alright, who do we actually go after? This is his last turn max, and he's using a paralyzed mod. I think it's better to just, like... I think it's better to just go after this. Let me actually think about this real realistically. I don't know how fast he's going to be. He can't max guard and do that at the same time. I bet I can Oko this Colossal. I think he's gonna actually just like... He can only hit one. Do you guys think, like, how fast does he get if he's paired? No, he's paired. I don't have to respect this thing. I don't have to. It's paired. Yeah, battles cancel. Like, you can go for your Aqua Jets all you want. I win. I win the game. All right, so we need to read this question. This is from earlier. It says, if I yeeted someone off of a cliff, killing them in front of you, what would you do? You say one, say nothing, two, tell the cops, three, run in fear because I have the strength to throw someone off a cliff, or four, 
Jump off the cliff to see if there's a bounce pad or five kicking me off the cliff. Um. Um. That's a good question. I guess that I would do a mix of. So like, I guess I'd do a mix of five and it, it, I'd be closest to five, right? Cause I ain't a little bitch. I ain't gonna like walk up behind you and kick you off the cliff. What I guess I would do is I would probably um, be like, hey, you know, it's like a mix of like five and like three if there's like a bounce pad or whatever, right? That's, that's one of the ones. Um, like five and four, right? I'd be like, hey, what the hell? And if like you run away, you know, like I'll take you out, right? I'm confident that I can probably run faster than most people. Confident I'm stronger than most people and I'm bigger than most people. So like, that's probably what I would do. Yo, Toxtricity, other form. Okay. Um, I actually really like Dedenne here. Because Dedenne is really good versus that cor incorrect Urshifu form. Let's see what Urshifu form is. I'm gonna go with Dedenne's art. I wanna try it. Dedenne's art seems really, really fun here. Uh, I gotta shot for Talonflame though. So like, I do think I still want my Tox. And since I'm gonna be going like with this type of board, I think I wanna bring Dustcoffs. I think this is a cool game to try this out. This person team was really cool. Yeah, I think this person team was really cool. I would like, like, everything's gonna fall into place. Like, I wanna use the Dene Zard, and then, like, the Dene has synergy with Toxtricity, and then, like, I think I'm gonna want a TR option, because after my Zard goes down, because they're gonna go with something crazy, uh, we're gonna wanna go TR. So, like, Dust Cops is really nice here. Uh, doesn't have any normal types that can avoid my Nightshades. So, it's like, I can go for Bulldoze plays. Uh, I can go with synergy with the Dene. Like, this is perfect. This is, like, the perfect sort of board for me to test out this team. So it's 12 to 4, the premier attack show up. Yeah, I think it's really weird. We're fighting so many of them. I think it's really weird. You think defog? That's not a thing. No one has ever used the actual move defog in VGC. They put it on a max move on one of the best max Pokemon, Corviknight, and people still don't use it. Oh, I should remake my trainer card. We should stream remaking the trainer card. We should. Let's go to it. I think it's gonna be a fun game. Tox? Well, he's ready for Zard. He so he has like potential for like Tailwind, like all in. So let's see. Like he knows the Zard's there, but we have the big We have a few things we can do. I think I'm actually just gonna Thunderbolt the Town Flame and just hard switch in my Dust Cloths. It's fine. I do not mind just hard switching in the Clops. Clops can soak damage pretty well. And then I just get the Town Flame relatively off the board. Ooh, I could have switched in the Toxtricity though and given myself a plus. Uh, choice Specs, and I didn't see the other item. Safety Goggles and Choice Specs? Yeah, that's fine. So Overdrive? Big Overdrive. Nice Tailwind though. Thunderbolt. Still enough damage to take it out. That's awesome, actually, because like now we can use you know, the rest of our mods relatively easily. Uh, they're probably gonna send out something that punishes the cops, and we're gonna we're gonna still get our trick them up. That's exactly what I want to see. Ooh, it's that Urshifu! Oh, you know how badly I want to use Dazzling Gleam here. It's sashed. He outspeeds my Dedenne, so like Dedenne is gonna go down regardless. So you might as well just go for the switch. But then we'll be eating a single target. No, actually, no, this is perfect. So if we ally switch here, the Tox is going to go... No, Tox is going to go last. So he's going to go for his big dark attack first. Can I eat the Wicked Blow? Is the question. We're going to find out this time on Dragon Ball Z. Because Tailwind's still really massive here. Wicked Blow. Survey says... Yep. Oh, I thought I could have ate it. It's resisted, right? It is resisted. It's always a crit, but I thought I could have ate it. I thought I could have. And I think we die because it's single target now. Oh, we live. All right, that's really weird. That one, he actually super high rolled that first one then because I actually did about the same amount. Yeah, I'll get my trick him up. That's nice. That's nice. And then we're just going to destroy life big tox energy let's go bd baby
He hasn't maxed yet. He can max that Urshifu. I'm thinking about going for, like, a max ooze. That's why. I'll, I'll be greedy. It's greedy. Straight up. This is super greedy. I'm gonna be at plus two. But, like, still. I wanna be at plus three. That's a plus three. Max Strike will absolutely murder that Tox. Bulldoze. Oh, nice. That Bulldoze did good damage to his Tox, actually. <laughs> You'll be afraid of my Dust Clops. Yo, let's go. Let's end his life. End the Urshifu Onslaught. Delete. Yeet. That's a plus three, baby. Now right, let's see what he has in the back. Taking out Talonflame, which I got Urshifu. We have a Trick Room up. Overdrive, that ain't doing anything. It actually takes the Dust Cops, which is actually nice, I think. Because Dust Cops is like out of moves they could really realistically use. And we know that Tox has a Tailwind, so I can just Blast Burn it into the Oblivion. Nice tail one, bro. Prim! Woo! Yeah! Yo, and remember, I have a speed drop for my bulldoze before. Actually, he has one tail one, but he's at minus one. Let me think about this. I'm gonna still try and blast burn it. I think he's full speed. Because he outsped my Dedene. If he outsped my Dedene in that, in a, in a tailwind, he should still be fast enough. Alright, whatever. Fuck it. BB! Burn it up! Let's go. Let's see if he's max guard in the prim. Good morning. Good morning it is. Let's see if he's max in, let's see if he's max guarding. I, I'm slower than that thing. Because I'm at minus one speed. I should be slower actually. Because he's still in tailwind too. So like he might max guard away out of his tailwind, is what I'm thinking. Yeah. Let's see if we can KO this Tox. Let's see if we underspeed this Tox with our regular Zara versus the minus one Tailwind. Nope, we don't. Damn, that sucks. That really does suck. That's really bad. Bro, never lucky. Never lucky me. I think we can trigger me that two. So I can take a, I can take out the premium of this turn and then just take out a Tox, yeah. Like, I'm a plus three. Alright, stun shock will still kill it. I don't think I need to oh, ooze. Double max guard. Hell no. Go away. That's right. And we knew it was invest because he did use the guard, but like he was probably heavy HP specials. <laughs> I'll stop it. Alright, what move is the best move here? He has Punk Rock, right? So, like, Overdrive would be stabbed but resisted and then Punk Rocked. Sludge Bomb would be just resisted but stabbed. So it's like, I still think it's this one. I still think it's the Boom Burst. It's not stabbed, but it's only affected by the Punk Rock. Punk Rock lowers it by half or a third. Which one's stronger? I think it's a Boom Burst, right? Boom Burst? Alright. I trust you. I'm a plus three. It does, they both, yeah, it would have been lowered. Yeah, we still got it though. <laughs> that thing's not thick. Yeah, it, Boom Burst is affected by the Punk Rock, but Sludge Bomb is just not very effective. So we still take the win. All right, so we got the standard tech right here. The Porygon Clefairy. How do we want to deal with Porygon Clefairy? Tox is pretty nice against Porygon Clefairy. I think I can just one shot like all those with my Charizard. Like you can max strike me, but like, good luck. Moongus is still pretty pog because he doesn't have really good options. He like max lightning to make it so I can't spore, but then like he's not picking up KOs unless he's gonna max lightning my Zard. He can't like tail with me, so like I'd, I'd be able to get 
like the big damage off once, which is all I really need. Max Lightning's there. It's the Zard. Como's okay. I like these. Yeah. I think uh, Klops Tox is actually pretty good for the late game here. We have to watch out for the Haxorus, but I like Toxtricity versus a lot of these. Let's see it. This is a weird matchup. This is really weird. Um, I'm respecting the Porygon a lot, but like if he wants to go for like a max strike into something and get a speed reduce on something like my Zard, uh, we set Trick Room, we're in a really good situation. Hax vs. Como? We don't want to go Hax vs. Como because like Hax, uh, Como doesn't just do very good versus a lot of those. This is actually really cool. I wonder, I wonder if, what that Hax vs. is actually rocking. Oh, did we just do this? Chat, are you guys ready? This should be a two-shot still. And if he maxes, he maxes. You know, I don't know. I don't care. Should be a two-shot even with the friend guard. And I want to see if he's using Scarf. He does. He doesn't outspeed it today normally, right? So if he's Scarfed, he's going to get two-shotted. And if he's the best around, nothing's ever going to keep him down. If he wants the Dynamax, he'll go for like a max... Uh, what is it? Like... What is it? Max... Rock move <laughs> will be good. Follow me, Swords Dance. Go for it. Eat, eat this absolutely massive stab, Deagling. I'm saying he's not maxing. I, I guess he could still be maxing. He's not maxing with a scarf. That's for sure. I don't care if he Swords Dances. What's he, he doesn't have any speed. He might be Dragon Dancing and and uh, doing that. Swords Dance is not a problem. Dragon Dance would be. Here's the follow me. All right, all right. We looking, we looking good. We're bobbing and weaving, moving and grooving. Deagle. He has friend guard. But you see, it still does over half. Right, we're still in a good spot. Poison jab into the... Wait, you ignore my Zard? Fuck. Don't you dare get that freaking poison on me. Not like this. There we go. Yeah, we're in a good spot. Um... He's gonna rock fall me this turn somehow. Let's do it like that then. Drawing hacks for us? Okay. This is a good turn. If he wants to follow me, that's completely fair too. Protect break Pog! Yo, we're on top of it right now. Now we outspeed that guy forever. I don't have to worry about Dragon Dance ever again. Big gleam. You made the right play to ignore? Oh, yeah. But, like, that's crazy. Are you bested? That's actually pretty nutty. I'm just gonna nuke this Clefairy. Why is everyone so scared of Denny? Because they don't want to be part of the highlight reel, right? My videos get literally thousands of views a day. Like, literally thousands a day. They don't want to be part of the highlight reel. Yeah. They just don't, they don't understand it. Pog, sunny day. Got very done, so. Let's go with the uh, hyper voice. Hyper voice is fine. I have good, I have good mods in the back. Delete. Is that Porygon's your last mod? Like, Zard's in such a good spot here. I'm so sorry to Dene. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. Now, let me think about how I want to play this. Haxorus is back there. Yeah, Tox is really good here. So we can just check the Prim, and then we can check the Porygon. Tox energy. Porygon, there it is. You ready to one-shot this Porygon in his max mode? Pox so big. That's right. Pox massive. Massive Tox energy. Overdrive. Kill okay, the Prim. Big BB baby, where you looking? 
I think he's gonna lose the top. I think he's gonna lose that hacks. He's gonna lose the hacks to the wildfire tick after the overdrive. I think. Maybe. After it, at the very least, he's gonna lose it next turn. This Porygon's gonna get dumpstered. And if he actually protects the Porygon, like, I'll just do it next turn. We one shot this Porygon, right? Solar power, right? Solar power in the sun. Blast burn. Stabbed. There's also Wildfire Ticken and a Tox that's still using Overdrive. Like, where are you looking? Blast burn. Oh! Yo! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I just love to see that. And that's going to be a single target Overdrive. Did we take those? And might even take any damage. He switched that in. Oh, Wildfire, though. This guy's like, man, I hate stupid degenerate teams that just do stupid degenerate things. It's like, bro, you legit tried to, like, clef PZ me. That's like, this is justice, right? This, this right here is justice. What's the EV spread toxicity? This is actually just full special attack HP. Full special attack HP, nothing. Nothing amazing. This is a 252 squad for sure. That must be like. That must be like surgeon like Aqua Jet Urshifu or something. I would be surprised if he had goggles too. So like I don't know if Amungus is a good lead here. I'm gonna try to Dene. I'm gonna try to Dene. Do I wanna go to Dene's Zard? I think I can. I think I can get away with it. Like, if they wanna go with that. How do we break the Colossal though? In any other way? Like, Tox is still really nice. Like, these two go really well together. Yeah, I could try these. But then I'm not going to be able to bring Zard this game. Do I need Zard? I don't necessarily need it. Como's good. I like Amoongus here, too. Now let's try it. Alright. Oh, yeah, the Mudsdale? Awesome. What is, what is it? Like, Iron Man? I don't know, it's like BNM, and it's like three, probably, like, periodic table things. Porygon Z Clefairy. Yo, they want it. They want it so bad. Let's actually think about what we do want to do here. Because right now I have the plus on both my mons. Like, I can go for a max guard play. It's not really worth switching into any of these. Uh, I didn't say your person were sniping last game. But, like, it's it sucks that we keep playing people that know who I am because I can't really do anything. I've been getting really frustrated because of it. The only I've, only, I've called one person a sniper today who I'm pretty sure, like, really was sniping. But, like... It sucks like you having to play people that know that they're playing against me. It's really, really hard to play the game under those circumstances. It's really, really hard. A lot of people know the sets that I use on a lot of the mons. A lot of the people know like what I'm trying to do because I'm trying to create content, right? So like, they know the things to stop because they don't want to be a part of the highlight reel. It's really frustrating. It's like, I don't get the same respect as a lot of other people do. They, they like, allocate their resources to stop X things from happening. Or if you cover up the moves, it, that doesn't matter. They're playing against me. They're, like I said, the last two people we fought weren't sniping, but they were playing. They knew they were playing against me, which changed the way that they played. And if I cover up the moves, you guys can't see me either. So it's like, that would just ruin your guys' viewer experience. He's completely fine. We just need to roll a good, um, we just need to roll a really good move into the Porygon. Perfect. Actually, any of these is okay versus Porygon, I think. I think any of them is pretty good versus Porygon. I almost want to say Poison might even be pretty good, just because, like, we can play a little bit longer game. Poison and Life Orb damage aren't really helped by the friend yard, so it's nice. Oh my god, I didn't think I was gonna one-shot it. 
I mean, I do have the boost from the Dedenne, so it makes sense. Poison's nice, yeah. So he's gonna be double ticking. Doesn't have his friend guard anymore either. We've shown the ally switch. We're at the speed drop. If he has a mom that can punish our tox, we're in a bad spot. I'm surprised that KO'd that Clefairy. I'm really surprised, actually. He must be like full HP defense. Hirsch would do it. He has to like nuke the tox. I want to get a poison on there. I think the right place actually just to like max guard here. Let that poison do a little more damage and hard switch in the Amoongus. Or I could even like let this thing die. I think actually letting it die is actually pretty good. I'm just going for a D-Gleam. Yeah. Don't want to risk switching in the Amoongus because you know, Aqua Jet in the Dene. Oh, Aqua Jet, that one. Yo, I take those. Max Strike. Cool. He thought I was going to Alice switch again, which is, this is completely fine. He takes Life Orb damage, he takes Poison damage, and we get a free switch into our Amoongus. I have Como in the back versus Water Urshifu. I think I might actually want to just go after the... I might just go after the um, Porygon this turn then. Yeah. Have to Rage Powder still. Otherwise we're just getting murked. We'll see. Once a Max Guard, he's still taking more damage. This is his last Max turn after this. I'm just going to AoE spam. Rage Powder, yes. Yeah, Urshfu's not that great in this situation. Search and Strikes, not today. I had a feeling you would max guard, fearing the max starfall, so I'd able to shroom. Hey, no, you played you played great. I'm just super tilted today already. I appreciate the sub, though. I do appreciate it. Sorry I'm super salty. We take those. Appreciate it, my friend. All right, third max strike. So my tox is slow AF, but I have a Como in the back, so like I can probably be okay. I thought about max guarding there too, but like, I think he was targeting the tox with that surging strikes, and I think he was targeting the tox with that too, because it's protectors on cooldown. We should be able to take out the Porygon Z this turn. Maybe not, it's hard to say. Awesome, yeah, poison, I'll take that out. Hopefully. We got the para, that's super nice over there. Like, I'm sure he's sashed, but like, the para makes it so my combo outspeeds. Yeah, we got some pretty good surging strikes. Chandelure versus Como. Ugh. That's okay, actually. So we outspeed Shandy with our Como. Sorry, we outspeed both those guys with our Como. But let me think about how I want to play this. I'm curious. If Tox at minus three. Now we don't outspeed the Urshifu with that. I think it's double. Double AoE should be good enough. Let's see what Shandor can get done. Um, clang, clang. It's a lot of damage. Defense stuff kind of sucks. Yeah, I agree. I think the double AoE attack is the right play, too. That's greedy. What if I was soundproof? Or what if I was uh, bulletproof, I mean? What if I was bulletproof, Chi? Surgeon strikes? Are you hitting the... If you hit the Tox, like, the Como just dumps you next turn. And you don't even get the KO. <laughs> Yo, we take those. Big Tox energy. We did it. We were able to win against insurmountable odds. I mean, all we gotta do next turn is just hit with one more claim. Alright, right here he's gonna Quick Claw Heat Wave me and I'll lose the game. You guys ready? You guys ready for Quick Claw Heat Wave? I'm ready for Quick Claw Heat Wave. I've been waiting my entire life. That would suck. Alright, we win. 
We do it. Wins up. Shandy's down. I think Shandy's still really nice. Shandy's a good Pokemon. We should use Shandy sometime. I'm gonna fight you. Como. Como's like okay. It's pretty boring here. The redirection's kind of nice. I can't do anything against... I'm gonna try these. I wanna try this. I wanna see if this works. We don't have like a good way to like hit Ferrothorn with this board. Like at all. Like at all at all. We have like no way to hit that guy. That's fine. I mean we have a Zard, we're leading with it, but like he's not gonna let us hit that. I wanna see if it's Lapras. Like Lapras Comfey? Yo, let me hit that. Lapras Amoongus. Probably better actually. Let's think about what we can do here. I think it's Sashamungus, so I'm actually just gonna go for like a D-Wing. And I will actually just go for the Wildfire into the Amoongus. If you wanna switch, you can switch. And then next turn we pop the Sunny Day. No reason to pop it this turn. I just don't wanna get Spored on my Zard. He, he could actually go like Max Guard Lapras and like Spore my Zard. If he's Sashamungus. And this is the play that punishes that super hard. But again, Zards are known for having safety goggles right now. So it's like, I don't know what he's going to do. Either way, I want that Amoongus off the board. If he protects Amoongus, that's so greedy. Because the Lapras is a Pokemon. Like, if Lapras takes, like, over 60% on the turn at Resonances, it's, like, it's dead next turn. You can get the Resonance up, but you can't go to the next attack. And Lapras would be taking, like, over 60% from this. So we'll see how it goes. If I wanted to go like all in on it. Rage Potter, perfect. Yeah, so we're going to do decent chip to the Lapras before it can set a resonance up. Break potential sashes. Let's see if it's eject button. Nope. Done so. I think it was sash, so. Yep, that's perfect. And he can go for the geyser. I don't know if he'll KO, but he wants to get the resonance up. Right? If he doesn't get the resonance up, big sad. Uh, Geyser might actually kill me if he's like full special attack with life orb. He is going for the resonance off. So it's exactly like I expected. You can totally resonance there. Yeah, you got no problems with that, bro. Sunny Day will make it so I live the next turn. I think. I think I can live. He is orb. Wow. That big orb energy, huh? Alright, let's think about this then. What do we want to do with the deck? We get Ally Switch. We get Sunny Day. We could destroy that comfy yeah my sunny day oh I switch oh that's value I'll take I'll take a free freaking huge wildfire into your Lapras that's life orbed that's not using policy I, I did this play to punish him going for max guard TR I just don't like Kumpay. Delete! He's gonna live, probably, but that's a lot of damage. The Dene is super nice, yeah. And then Geyser, I don't have the KOs, right? And then since we're not taking sun damage. Yeah, it was actually really close. Um, it must be boosted off Hydro Pump, which is actually a little bit stronger than the one boosted off of Freeze Dry, which was Resonance last turn, because we did have a sun up. Like, sun up super effective is the same damage as, like, a Resonance, but... If one's using like a higher multiplier move, you know, you get it. So let's see. Um, I wonder if like Clang Soul and the Gleam will be enough. I'm sorry, Clang Scales. My Charizard Blaze? No. We're Solar Power. Moongus is still really good here, but like he's gonna go for the heal move, right? He's gonna go for the big heal move. He's gonna go for the heal move. I'm gonna go switch my Como in here. Floral healing, that's what it's called, right?
Yo, is that Ken's gifting a sub? Yo, thank you so much. Sub gifts. Sub gifts. Can we put some subs up? Ken's, thank you so much. It's your first gift sub to the channel. Enjoy the sub gifter badge. Let's see what he's going for. Big soul. Did he 4-0 killing? I think he did. And that's totally fine. Give me that plus 2 special attack. It's a big heal. Oh, he DC'd! He was totally in the... He was in the combo slot! Yo, the salt, the rage quit. The rage! Show me hitting that Dedenne slot. Ah -ha. <laughs> Oh, get ended. Get ended. He knew. Yeah, that's, that game's over. He's out of max turns, too. So, like, we can just one-shot the lap receiving four healings next turn. I take those. That I do. We take those. The salt, yo. Did that come fate? Was it a dark one? Yeah. No, it was water, wasn't it? That's still... Kumfei's still busted against the... Kumfei's so... It's not Kumfei. Um, Dedene is so good versus those Urshifus. Leftovers. But Beery Berry. Yep. He didn't have the uh, fairy attack. I went all in hoping you wouldn't have the fairy attack. And he's like, Ugh, I can't believe that my Kumfei could have just hit him with the fairy attack. It's like, nope. Nope.